Hey everyone, I am here to do another guest review for Wig Studio One. Today I have on Bailey by Renee of Paris in the color Ginger Highlight or Ginger H. So when I am sent a wig by Wig Studio One for a review, and I do about one review a month for them, I get a notice that a wig is on its way. When I saw that this color was coming, I was so excited because I've been so curious about this color. So before I go on, let me just tell you about Wig Studio One if you are new and are aware. Wig Studio One is an online retailer and they have a website, wigstudioone.com, and you can purchase all the major name brand wigs. They also have their own line of human hair wigs and often have great discounts. They also uh, have a Facebook group, Wig and Topper. It's called Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group on Facebook. And there's over 10,000 women in there as of the filming of this video. It's such a helpful group. I've been a member of the group since I started wearing wigs in 2018. And they were actually the first place I purchased a wig. And so I think there's so much help to be had on Facebook. I know some people aren't on Facebook, but I do think there's so much help to be had there. And they do a live sale every Sunday with um, open box items that are deeply discounted. So I think it's a great resource. So wigstudio1.com and their Facebook group. All right, let's move on to the wig. Bailey is a Renee of Paris wig that is basic cap, so no cap features, and is a great price point. As of the filming of this video, you can pick this piece up with no discounts at all for less than $140. And there could be a coupon code available for you to use. So it's a really budget friendly piece and the fibers feel amazing. I'll tell you a little bit about all of the features in a minute, but I just have to show you this color. Ginger Highlight. Look at that. It's so beautiful. It's just this kind of medium dark brown with auburn highlights. It's just stunning. So beautiful. I will get outside for you so you can see this color outside. And I will tell you that I have two ring lights on right now to really bring some good light into my bathroom here. And it's not shiny, even though when I get up close and that ring light is really close to me, it may look shiny. It's definitely not a shiny wig, which is a huge bonus. All right, so Bailey, my impressions of Bailey. It's a tight wig, first of all. This, uh, I am finding Renee of Paris and Noriko, uh, Amore, they're all made by Adirans Hair Goods, and these wigs fit me really snugly. Um, this is quite tight on my circumference right now, and I am 22 inches around my head. I am very petite over the top of my head, and I've got a little bit of extra cap, but not much. So this is a really, I would say it probably runs a little on the small side. Um, maybe average, maybe average petite even. So I would say if you're a large circumference, this isn't big head friendly. Something you can do though, I'll take the cap off and show it to you, but it has the bra strap adjusters. If you were to find a wig with those types of adjusters is okay, but just a little too tight, you can snip one or both of those adjusters without hurting the cap and it will release a little bit of that tension. Even if you have it all the way out, there's a little tension there and that will actually give you a little more room. This cap has like <laughs> barely any stretch. Like I'm not getting much out of it when I do this. So, you know, anybody larger than a 22 inch circumference, unless you're used to wearing super tight wigs, I would be careful with this one unless you're willing to cut those adjusters. All right, so let me show you Bailey all around. She is a very layered shag kind of style, longer shag style, very layered. Tons of layers. <laughs> lots and lots of flippy ends because of all of these layers. She just kind of flips out, flips to the side, and she's just sort of flippy all over. Something that I've noticed about Bailey that I think is a little unique, I haven't seen this in a ton of wigs, 
she since she's a basic cap you know she does have permatease as, as all basic cap wigs do she has a big poof of pillowy permatease up here and then zero anywhere else and it's so low density that um it really gives it this like you know it's poofy and then no body and so i would say for a, my wig sisters who like who are constantly trying to get their hair bigger up here, but they don't want heavy hair density or a lot of body anywhere else, Bailey is one to really consider. Um, for those of you who don't like poof though, she's very, very full of pillow, per permatease up here. She's very, very pillowy. And there is some visible permatease on Bailey. I've talked about this in reviews before. When you have a basic cap, you run the risk of having permatease be visible. It's, it can be managed. But I want to tell that to you. So right here, you've got a little bit of visible permatease. Not terrible, but there is a little bit of visible permatease there. There's lots of things you do with that. And so, you know, I would say you'll just have to learn your sensitivity about that. But, you know, first of all, just getting in there with a wide tooth comb and lifting the fibers off the cap is kind of job one when you've got a basic cap and permatease because right away that reduces what you can see immediately it's better it it, it also increases the hair volume so you've got a trade-off there something else that you can do is you just mess around with how the hair is parted and how you've got it and that will hide some of the visible permatease and then a third thing you can try is root spray root powder or even hair fibers if you still have some hair fibers from, you know, if you were thinning and use hair fibers to hide your hair loss, so that can sometimes just give a little bit of darkness and a little bit of um, coating that will also hide that permatease. So there's options for sure. Bailey does have a front bang that I have swept over to the side because I'm not a bang person. And it's actually pretty good as far as the length goes you know I um, am I think four and a half inches from hairline to the tip of my nose and if I wanted to wear this with a full bang I wouldn't really actually have to trim her so that is really good but you can actually sweep this to the side a little bit and she does like to sit that way you know there is no lace front so you're not gonna want to pull it up off the forehead because there's nothing there to kind of disguise the cap but if you like bangs you're good to go. If you just like a little fringe but don't want a full bang, I think you can manage really with it both ways. Let me take her off and show you the cap. So like I said, we have a basic cap. There's no lace. There's no um, monofilament. It definitely keeps the price down. We've got adjustable ear tabs and there is quite a bit of hair sewn in on the ear tabs and they're not the soft velvety kind. We do have an extended nape on Bailey, and then like I said, those are the pull adjusters on her. And I have let them all the way out. And I would, if I were to keep Bailey, I would have to cut those to make her comfortable on me for all day wear. Um, and like I said, there is some permatease on the top. It's not really that bad. And then very low light density all throughout. So she actually is really lightweight. Super lightweight. Um, really easy to just shake and go. So I did film an out of the box, which I will tack on to the end of this video like I almost always do. And I will tell you that Bailey had some box hair. So I did spray her with water and got the cap and the hair all wet. And then I hung her upside down. And then after that, I actually let her sit right side up on a wig head to sort of settle. Because of the permatease in her, you know, she is going to, unless you really love huge hair and you want to make this as big as you can get it, you, she'll need a few wearings to get that permatease to settle down and relax in. So sometimes with these basic cap wigs, you can just wear them around the house for the first few times and, and things will start to kind of settle in. So I would just say, you know, she really did, she looked pretty good out of the box. She just had that box hair, which was really easy to take care of. I do find curly wigs tend to have a lot of box hair, but sometimes these wigs with a lot of short layers will also just need a little bit of time outside the box. Um, so that, you know, she is tuckable. Although I will tell you that um, Renee Paris, these ear tabs come really low on me, like super low on me. 
I would have trouble. I'm not in focus, I don't think. Let's see if I can get back in here. Yeah. I would have trouble um, wearing glasses comfortably with Bailey for a long period of time. Me personally with where she falls on me. I do um, wear sunglasses all the time and so for wigs that have a low ear tab, I will like push it up a little bit can, and put my glasses on but if I were to want to wear them for hours, it would be a bit tight and uncomfortable to me. So um, you know, just kind of pay attention to your measurements compared to mine as well as uh, if you've watched others of my videos and you've bought the same wigs that I have and see how I describe them and then know how they fit you, that can be really helpful. I would say Bailey, the styling potential for Bailey is, is moderate because of the layers and because of the permatease. First of all, I do think you're going to be able to get, um, if you keep these bangs down, I think you can take this and clip it up a little bit. And that would look really cute. And one of the things that that's going to do for you is it's going to reduce the, the poofiness on the top. So it's going to just kind of give you a little bit of a poof, but it's not going to seem as um, poofy and then flat. So Bailey, if you know, again, some of you are going to want that and some of you are going to say, gosh, I like everything about her except. And so that's where styling comes in. And I got to tell you guys, um, if you're a discerning shopper, if you can find really good deals on wigs, you can then make them your own, either through actual cutting and thinning or through styling. So don't look at a wig like this and say, I can never wear that wig. Maybe you can't right out of the box, but maybe you can if you put a headband in or a clip in. Like, I don't think I would wear Bailey just out of the box because it's a bit too layered for me. But let me grab a clip here. If I can grab one really fast, I'm not going anywhere, I'm just grabbing my stuff. But if I were to put a clip in, <laughs> oh ladies, I don't edit. Um, and you know, maybe take a little bit more time. I could actually wear Bailey like this. I really think I could wear her if I clip that up a little bit and just change the silhouette just slightly and then you know because she's so low density you can actually like clip her up and then you can put her in another low clip in the back and of course you're gonna mess with it you're gonna make sure that it's all situated I'm doing this in like 30 seconds but suddenly I have a completely different style and this is a little bit more my speed so let me grab a little pony holder Now just look how different Bailey looks. And isn't that, I think that's adorable. I could wear this. Whereas the layering was a bit much for me, this is totally doable for me. And again, I didn't adjust it. I haven't even looked at it. So again, I think that, you know, we, a lot of us want shake and go. If the wig comes a certain way, that's the only way I can wear it. And I think what I'm here to do is not just share with you the information about a wig, but how do you make a wig your own? How do you take advantage of great price point wigs like Bailey and then make them work for you? Because unless you've got unlimited disposable income, you may come to a point where you've got to start making some decisions in order to keep yourself in hair. So that's my two cents. Let me get off my soapbox. This has been Bailey by Renee of Paris. Stick around so that you can see this really, really cool color outside. Thanks for watching you guys. Oh, and the out of, out of the box. Don't forget about that one. Talk to you soon. All right, everyone. Here is Ginger H outside. And it's so windy out here, so don't mind the blowing of the hair. So pretty. I am really loving this color. It's beautiful. I'll get out in the sun for you guys, but I want to make sure that you can see it in just like the outside light without any direct sunlight. All right, here we go. It's very sunny today. So pretty. 
So you can see, let's get out of the sunlight, because it makes it hard to see the highlighting then when I'm in the sunlight. So you can see, let me switch hands here so I can get over to the side, that we've got some highlighting going on. That's the H, it's ginger highlight. So you've got the medium dark brown, and then you've got that auburn running through it. Makes it really pretty. And it's not a rooted color, so it doesn't have like darker rooting or anything like that. Just beautiful. Ginger H. Thanks for watching, you guys. All right, everybody. So here we are. We're going to do the out of the box for Bailey. Let me get her on here. You're going to see some fabulous box hair. <laughs> All right. So here's Bailey out of the box. This is just simple box hair. This is what you can expect when you get awake sometimes that's been living in a box. I have a fan blowing on me. I'm going to turn it a little. I thought my bathroom got hot before I added ring lights. Holy smokes. It gets hot in here. Um, so, okay. Number one, you have to learn how to deal with box hair. That is going to be one of the biggest lessons that you can learn in your wig journey. When something is simply uh, an issue of box hair and when it's a style issue. In this case, you can see the bangs are going every which way. It's flat. It's wingy. This is classic box hair. Um, you know, the more you wear wigs, the more you'll learn these things. And that's why I show these out of the box and I talk about it because I know this is always a shock in the beginning for sure. It totally was for me. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is I am going to spray her with water. Um, I think if I spray her down really well with just a spray bottle, this will help a lot. Um, one of the things I haven't done yet, which you really need to do with a wig coming out of the box, is just kind of shake. Shake it out a little bit, you know, give it a good few tosses. Um, in a wig that has permatease like this one does because of the basic cap, you just want to kind of, you know, really get those fibers up off the cap. Um, she may need to hang upside down for a little while and then may need to hang on a, a, a sit on a wig head for a while. It's just going to depend. I would never expect, especially, well, curly wigs, I find get box hair a lot. Um, I just would never really expect to be able to take a wig out of the box and wear it out. It is going to take just a little bit of effort. If you get a wig that you could put on and walk out the door in, ha you know, celebrate that. It happens occasionally, just not a lot. All right, so I shook her out. Yeah, I mean, she's just got box hair all over the place. So not a lot I can do until I spray her down with water. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a water bottle and I'm going to spray her really, really well. I'm going to shake her upside down in my shower, kind of shake off the water and kind of fluff a little bit. And then I'm just going to hang her upside down and let her dry that way and then kind of see what I have. Now, because she's a straight style and because she has a ton of permatease, she may need to sit on a wig head for a little bit just to calm down. I also may need to spray a little bit again and let her sit on a wig head. I don't want to get the cap super wet this time though if I'm going to have her sitting on a wig head. And then just kind of let it relax. She's just, she's got a lot of really cute, fun layers. So I, I don't think this is going to be a big issue. I just think, you know, it's the box. So that's what, that's part of the journey. So when you get a wig, you try it on and it looks nothing like you expected. Nine times out of ten, it's box hair. So. I'm going to get her wet and see what I got. Thanks for watching the out of the box, you guys.